So an RA is assigned to every residential area and is responsible for creating a sense of community. We all believe this is great that we have RAs that are able to do this because it enhances our experience as college students and helps us to create great memories as alumni that would be great uh, for this school. However, after talking to lots of RAs over the course of the past week, I found that they feel that this hinders uh, their job. The, the problem is there's a, a tone of avoidance that already exists in the community. We see that uh, similarly with campus safety and students. Instead of students seeing campus safety primarily as a resource that can help them, they see them as people to avoid. And now a lot of RAs feel that they're forced uh, to enforce these new policies, which they feel is only going to create further social division between themselves and their residents in uh, their home. And this overall spirit just makes it, in terms of emergencies too, uh, I believe that it's less likely that people will reach out. Because in any emergency, whether it's related to alcohol or not, you need trust. And trust is only built with time when you have an overall sense that uh, these bodies are here to help you. <coughs> it's also my belief after having talked to uh, many students and RAs that drinking isn't going to stop because of this. And that instead it's just going to go even further into the shadows that, than it already is. In, we're afraid that instead of people drinking in like dorm parties in front of their friends, uh, that they'll just drink like, privately in their room beforehand, especially now that you have these rules that say there's a limit on how much party girls you can have. And if you have people drinking by themselves in their rooms before they go to a party, their friends can't help to monitor to see if they uh, drank too much. So that's problematic. Also, if, if people just feel like they want to party off campus instead, that's problematic too in that you don't have RAs there, you don't have um, campus EMT there, you don't have camp um, campus safety. The only thing they can do if there's an emergency at an off-campus party is call the police, and they're going to be pretty reluctant to, to do that even more so than uh, campus safety. And so, um, and we think prohibition is like a great example as to why this doesn't work, and what happened then, and what seems like it's happening now on this campus is that it creates a sense that people like breaking the rules because so many the rules at this point are so out of line with the uh, feelings of the student body. And so once you have a shift where students are like, well, I don't like the rules, they don't really align themselves with my values, They're, the other rules that are in place uh, get to be compromised as well in some situations. And this could spread to drugs or all sorts of other issues as a concern. And generally, instead of um, the school being seen as like an official resource to host like lots of social events that uh, students can go to, instead it's created a, a sense um, of anger. People are mad at administration. People are saying like all sorts of things mean about like Dean Streeter and things like that, which we think are negative. So ultimately, um, in conclusion. A culture of respect is not fostered by imposing deeply unpopular rules on adults, nor does it, nor it is achieved when many choose to ignore these policies. Instead, a culture of respect is realized when students, RAs, campus safety, and administration work together to reach solutions to problems. Not yet. The, there was a campus safety officer at the Odell's meeting, and his, he felt the policy was good uh, because he pointed out that several students have almost uh, died. Some of the RA said, well, this policy only changes things for those who are above 21. But the tone that this policy sets is what's problematic for the entire community, especially the way that email was set out. I think created just like such a sense of fear with the first years that shouldn't have been done at all in the way that it was done. And then there's holding about the students getting expelled or nearly expelled during the first two weeks of school. 
like for that to not be like an official written policy, that's that's just underhanded, slimy move that just shouldn't be. Like it shouldn't be that I post on the Facebook page. This is something that might exist. Like it should be clear expectation. 